um thanks everyone thanks for joining uh, cpq our channel program today i am going to discuss about the external configurator how we are going to use in our cpq ecosystem so i have taken a one use case actually so in this use case we are going to talk about how the freight price is coming from my external table called a lookup table for my firewall uh, sku so here if you see the i have created one firewall product and this firewall product i have enabled uh, externally enabled and your uh, can you go back can you go down yes so configuration type is required configuration event is always and externally configurable is a checkbox that i have to enable actually then only whenever you are coding this particular product it will available for your external configurator actually. External configurator meaning that here we are not using the standard configuration phase. We are going to pop up with the new visual first phase which we have designed for this particular firewall product. Okay. So this firewall product have a related item also. Can you go to the related? So we have created one feature called freight. Under this feature, we have added one another product name called freight uh, SKU actually. So this is the freight SKU that I have created, which is a bundle product under the firewall. Actually. So we have a parent and child relationship. Parent is your firewall and freight is your optional SKUs, which is your product option SKU actually. Now, in order to enable and utilize that external configurator, what is the next setup that we have to do? Let's go to the package setting. In the package setting, in an additional setting tab, you will see the option called external configurator URL. That's external configurator URL is basically the visual force space that we have to provide here. Let me show you how our visual force space will look like. So this is our visual force space will look like where a user will select a state and the zip code and the unit of measure. So based on the unit code, based on the zip code, based on the unit of measure and the courier partner, it will face the price from the lookup table. So let me show you the lookup table, how it will look like. Go to the freight charges. So this is our freight charges lookup table. This is a custom object that we have stored our information for courier partner. The price from which state and what is the unit of measure. So based on the unit of measure, zip code and the courier partner and the state, we are picking the price actually. Right? So this price, we are going to uh, override the price of the freight product options under the firewall. Um, right? So let's see the in a quote how it will look like actually after enabling this external configurator. I am on a quote. I would like to go and click on edit line. The bundle that I have created called freight. So I will add and search a product for freight. Yeah, firewall, sorry. The firewall is my main product. Yeah. If you click on a firewall, because I have already my configuration type is required, so it will land up to the particular page. And this page is basically um, the external configurator that we have designed as a visual force page, actually. So with help of visual force page and with help of uh, what you call uh, Iora and Lightning uh, component, we have created this particular page where we are fetching the price from the price lookup table, which is a freight charge table. The moment you hit save button, you see the my freight charges are coming uh, from my external table with help of this uh, customization or custom development that we did. Again, if you would like to change the price, you can go and click on a launch external. This launch external will again open that same uh, same view of page where you are again changing the values for your different states and different you see the price are being changed now hit save button save button will again create a parent child relationship means your firewall will be your parent product and the child product is your freight product actually you see it's get added to the particular uh, what you call uh, the code including your zip code that you have selected, including your state code that you have selected, including your unit of measure in the courier partner that you have selected in a external configurator. Let's click save button. 
now uh, just a small glimpse uh, how the visual force page will look like let's go back to the developer console and see so here the main important part that we have created uh, one is like a visual force page that you see under this visual force page we are see uh, we see the line number uh, 6 where we are incorporating the framework called egxdm uh, JS framework. So this JS framework is very much important in order to um, design and develop your external configurator so that we can communicate with the Salesforce and the CPQ, uh, what do you call CPQ schemas and CPQ definitions. Right? Because under CPQ definitions, we do have where we are creating the product apps and where we are fetching the data for the product and services, right? So this EGDM is going to help us in uh, communicating with the servers. So for for more detail related to this view page and code, you can see here we are getting the data from the listener and then uh, this data coming from uh, your uh, external table that we have designed, right? Can you go a little down? And this procedure is being called where we are EGDM, we are making a connection with the Salesforce CPU in the last line. Right. Now can you go down? We are posting this data in order to create our product options record. Actually, so the moment we receive the data from the, our freight table, freight charges table, we are putting our option ID, quantity, and the index, and the freight charges that we receive called price, the state, the zip code, the unit block pages, including your the unit price, the receipt. Uh, which is received from your receivable data. So that's it. So the moment we have set this data, it will automatically come to our HTML page and it shows the data value to our external configurator. So that's it for all today. And uh, I will publish uh, what you call the reference of Visual Force page and the best classes that we have designed. And, uh, you can take uh, further for your business. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. Please do share, like, and subscribe our CPQ. Thanks everyone.